right, we back and we got these questions. All right, starting off, uh, the first question. This is most of these questions was from sisters, man. Yeah, because uh, sisters is the one who really are open to this. Well, first of all, before we do that, I want to tell people about yeah, a certain amount of things. That's right. Uh, it's more than fitting to show you this particular picture right here, mm -hmm. and show you what went on. This is a picture that is a picture of a woman mm -hmm. from 1851 is when this picture was done. Mm. This is all connected. It's all connected. Now, the guy who did this picture is by the name of Charles Henry Joseph. And he went to the Sudan in the 1800s. This was uh, actually 1848. And he went, and you get a picture of that? See, yeah. Let me know if it's the glosses on it or oh, not. That's right, that's right. Okay, good. And he did this particular picture, and it's, it's called, the guy's name is Syed Abdullah of, my, of the Mayak Kingdom of Darfur, Sudan, 1848. Mm. And he did this particular picture of this particular Sudanese king right. in 1848. When he was in the Sudan, he saw this beauty. He saw this beauty. And he was so smitten by her that he went back four years later to capture her. These are all in bronze, in bronze statue. That guy and uh, uh, Henry Charles jo uh, Henry Joseph. Um, his last name, excuse me, John. Charles Henry Joseph um, Cordier, C-O-R-D-I-E-R. -E Charles Henry Joseph Cord Cordier, French. He lived between the time of 1827 and 1905. So next year would be his 100th year birthday. Uh, excuse me, his 100th year, the, the 100 years of his death, let's put it that way. This Person, he was so smitten by her beauty until he named her the African Venus. Mm. Now you go down to the table right here and you will see a veve of the goddess Erzuli, who is also the goddess of love. You see. Now, we also see on this wall the goddess of love, Hetheru, or the goddess Hathor. Both of these figures of the goddess Hathor, as well as this figure here of the goddess Hetheru of Hathor. Now what is also interesting here is this is a picture of the goddess Isis with the seat on the head. <coughs> but this is a uh, but but this particular picture here as we see is the new rendition of Nefertiti that was done when was this thing done recently um this year, they just did a, 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 a new rendition of the, of, of the Queen Nefertiti on how she would actually look. On how she would actually look. Um, I had the actual the article from USA Today. But she's called Beautiful One, mm. Nefertiti. All right. There's the goddess Nefertari, which would be in a picture like this, sitting beside... The god of Raha Kiwit or Rahiru Kahuti, at the temple of um, Seti One, mm -hmm. 
the first holy land. And at that temple of Seti one, the first holy land, holy land that was built for Seti the first by Ramesses the second when he was eighteen years old or twenty one. I think it's either eighteen or twenty one. Um, he built the, the temple of Seti one at Abydos, which they they shamelessly visit. They very rarely visit on the tour. But there's Nefertari, that is the wife of Nef of Ramesses the second, and her name means most beautiful one. Mm. Ironically, the, 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 the hammer done hit me in the head and bust me in the head and got me all <laughs> fucked up with this little thing. <clears throat> and her name is Linda, which is also, I say Spanish. I think it's Spanish for a beautiful one. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Uh, for, for, for a beautiful one. And it busts me in the head, and I say now, I go around the country lecturing to people, and I have a lot of people looking up to me. Mm -hmm. I am looking for someone that I can worship, mm -hmm. and I now receive and receiving the goddess that I can worship. And the day that I don't worship you, you need to chain with my ass. <laughs> Chain whip my goddamn ass. God damn, dude. <laughs> Got you, bro. Because it it has to to get to the other realm. I'm going ahead of myself. <laughs> it has to be complete love. And I say now, I have one mission on the planet, and that is to completely love and worship this being. Which is also the goddess Aset or uh, Sophia on the higher level came with the new name Babylonia, which was given two weeks ago. I'm going ahead of myself. Now going back, this is the goddess of love. And although this was an actual woman that lived in the 1800s, mm -hmm. she's now passed, but her energy still dwells in the photograph. Because it is the goddess Het Heru that first inspired Joseph Henry Cordier to do it. She, he was smitten by her beauty, went back four years later, and did this particular peace. Mm. Now, there was a debate in the early 1990s on whether dreadlocks originated in Africa or in the Caribbean. Mm. As we can see, and you can blow this up and you can zoom in or whatever, that it is clear that these are dreadlocks or locks Divine locks that's in the 1827 on the African continent. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So that breaks that up. Number two. Number two. Mm -hmm. We have had African scholars. John Henry Clark. Mm -hmm. Dr. Yosef Ben Yakanen. Asa Hilliard. Leonard Jeffries, mm -hmm. James Smalls, all the great illustrious scholars that said that the entire world for most of human history used to worship the black woman as the standard 